Hey there, do you ever struggle with wondering what to post on your Instagram? You know that consistency is really important and that you should be posting every day, but you're struggling because you don't have great images to post all the time. Hey everyone, I'm Sue McLaurin, makeup artist and educator, and today I wanna to talk about exactly that. What to do with your Instagram when you don't have anything to post. Now, if you read my recent blog post, you'll know I talk about how important your portfolio is, and really, it's your business card, it's your resume, it's one of the main things that people look at when they're making a buying decision or whether to book you or not. And your portfolio really needs to display you in the best possible light. So if you're struggling to find things to post on your Instagram and you're just posting any old random stuff for the sake of posting, then you're kind of doing yourself a disservice. You really need to be posting the best possible images that you have. Now, if you're not working every day and you're not creating amazing content all the time, this can be a bit of a struggle. One of the things that people kind of seem to forget that you can do is obviously repost some of your older work. Now, this is not cheating. If you go and look at any great makeup artist's website, you'll probably see work there that's one year, two year, five years, maybe even older than that. So why should Instagram be any different? There's no rule that says that you can only post work that you've only just done. If you've got great work from a year or two ago, then heck, why not post it? So go back and have a look through some of your older posts on Instagram, see which ones were popular, and you can use those best nine and top nine apps that are gonna show you the ones that got the most likes and repost them. Most of the people probably won't know that it's older work anyway, and even if they do, it doesn't matter. So people don't bother scrolling all the way down to the bottom of your feed and you know, they're probably not even going to have seen that work before. So go ahead, have a look at what some of your most popular work is and the sort of work that is going to attract your ideal client to you and to book you and go ahead and repost that. Keep consistent and keep that Instagram algorithm working in your favor. So I hope you found this tip helpful. If you would like more hints and tips, make sure that you click on the sign up button up on the top to sign up for hints and tips from my weekly newsletter, which comes out every week on a Thursday morning. Thanks for listening and I look forward to chatting to you again next time. Bye for now.